Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Sheath your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edirn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf?
Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Any news from your secret informant? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Where are we? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorvet, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Where's your unit? Dispersed by a raiding party? They're exactly where they should be. I assure you, no humans can surprise the Squirtel. Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? The Dwan, even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty, he is no Dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few, yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike. Trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tala game. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this piss! Starley! Should have charmed the archers. They're coming.
Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What? It's happening. Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way towards Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sacrifice. Ah! I'm one of your commandos. I'm a woman. I noticed. <sighs> Starting to think we'll make it. Wait. Barrier's waiting. Triss! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Spoil your talent, Saki! Hello! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Voltest. Fear not, El. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorveth. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Did you say that? Not like Squirrels it. are very warm. Yorveth led them. I saw Newton. them with my own eyes. Who are these blokes? They're the ones the elves were tissue. Assault in broad daylight. Zoltan. Dandelion, my former. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about. But his willy wouldn't come to attention. 
Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The singer's the hang and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! You <laughs> three, the square with, with the others. others. <laughs> They'll hang anyway. <laughs> you three. What to square with the others? <laughs> Hell hang anyway! Go. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm. Hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the king. Well, well. Blue stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way. But I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Max, I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Richard. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you, Geralt. Thank you. Fame at the tavern. 
Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Hmm, notice boy. Might find something interesting here. Ha <laughs> Damn, that was close! Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lies eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby, and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Brecken Rigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenwig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenwick says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Oh, God. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Even we get out. They play the spy a bit, get bored, and drop it. You know how he is. Triss. You're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions. Spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stand to marry if he's crowned. 
Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. During the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Labs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Sorceress, are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. And which of you is ready to help the sorceress fight the beast? Why us? Huge it is. Big as a mountain. Then why get angry at someone who's willing? Well, cuz... We'll tend to the Cairn, the sorceress or I. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll draw it away from the port beforehand so as not to endanger the likes of you. Well, I hope you succeed. I've no preference for who does it, witch or witcher. Just kill the horse, son, and the whole town will be grateful. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. 
You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, a young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Too late. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. Always, Go ask the Mason to take you as his apprentice. You'll learn a trick. Gain risk. I've always preferred the wandering life. Meet new people. <laughs> Beat some of them up. <laughs> Don't tell me they're like it, you? Not really. It's a shithole. But plenty of folk to beat up. Dog catcher. Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Speak up. The monster's as big as a barn, with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. Psst. White-haired one. I have an offer for you. Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of Aurans. Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. 
The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. He's worth a bundle! <laughs> 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 Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalet Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. I can't accept this. But give my regards to your relatives. Nearly got him! Go on, a wee bit more! Change your grip! Humans know as much about arm wrestling as I know about screwing trolls! Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning the devote. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's bragging rings. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. How are you killing time in this hell? At present, polishing gems for Schiller de Tanzerville. Requires precision, but it's well paid work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament for those sorceresses, I'm telling you. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like Dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You could also look in on some merchants. I don't think Loritos robbed them of everything yet. Do you know someone named Cedric? Know him? We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobbenden. Strange bug, that one. But a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarfing pastime. We ought to try it sometime. I'll arm wrestle you anytime. Now, even. 
Show me those bubbles bollocks then. Hands like a vice. It wasn't easy. If you ever run into my old mates Yarpin or Sheldon, promise me you'll take them on. You'll be surprised. You look strong. Care for a little contest? Too strong for me. Here's what you're owed. You ought to give Wiry Wilkes a shot. You'll not have an easy time with me. Strong man you are. Here's your coin. You should take on Big Max. You're a strong lad, but I'm no wimp either. Wanna take me on? By Veo Patis's balls, you're strong. You're winnings. There's someone else. No one's beaten him yet. Who? Bartholomew Bargy. You'll find him in the village. Look, people! Wonders and miracles! Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! Hello. Let's pretend you don't see. Don't look him in the eyes. Never ever. What's going on here? A competition, brother. With the port closed, we're bored off our asses. Care to take part? What are the rules? The contenders put their coin down. Winner takes all. The fighting rules. Drop your opponent and make sure he stays down. Complicated. So? Are you fighting, brother? He's a fresher like you, brother. Good for starters. Put your coin down. So, what'll it be? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! Wait till he drops his fucking guard! Wait till he drops his fucking guard! That was fucking poetry! Up for another, brother. Who's up next? Corb Ransel, known as Flippass. Strange name. Does everything backwards, sleeps in daytime, drinks before he eats, and tells women to get dressed before he plows them. Flippass. Show us your orange. So what'll it be? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! Kidneys! 
Yes. Hey, champ. What? I can tell you're a serious contender. Far too good for this drunken riffraff. Believe you me, I know what I'm talking about. So? I don't know you. They call me King Ziggy, because I pay like a king. If you want a taste of fame and riches, look for me by the inn in the evenings. I'll take you to the right place. Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Up for another, brother. Who's up next? I knew you'd end up fighting each other. Who's that? Tidy Tib. The bastard eats honey straight from the hive, drinks for four, and some say he can hang a bucket full of water from his cock. You better get a solid coin pouch ready. So what'll it be? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let the dance begin! That was fucking poetry! Congratulations! You dropped some of the toughest brawlers! Well done! Tournament's over! Left hook! Watch out for the left hook! Do my eyes deceive me, or are you Witcher Geralt? What can I do for you? My cousin from Vizima claims you're good at dice. I can play. If word gets out, good contender, better players are likely to show up. The stakes will rise. Maybe even I'm a gauss or a sender. So, will you play? Sure. Great. We only play for fun, but Zindrab fancies himself a master. I won't play any old challenger. Show us what you can do, and who knows, I might sit down with you. You win. Care to roll some dice? a chance to win my coin back. What do you want? Care for a game of dice? Shall we roll a few rounds? You won. Care for a rematch? No. Try Ina Gorzel from the Craftsman's District. Beat him and who knows? Maybe even Sendler will agree to play you. Thanks. What's going on, Geralt? 
how can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Foltest's special forces? The Blue Stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you hadn't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But Lorito's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoyatel. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edirne. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam, on the border between Temeria and Edirne, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the arse. The North's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lorito in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we've pissed everyone off. What next? If the Kingslayer's in your best care, we'll have to get them both. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Lorido as invited. Maybe a quick heading a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and he could prove useful. So long, Roach. You gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. Always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demothan's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilf Guardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bard singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontark and will afford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Edernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks to line. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean... How the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Fessa. What happened to Foltest? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The Witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword, hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the Squiatel, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. 
Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Cultist's assassination... <sighs> Greetings. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Cairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade is finally lifted. Lorita won't let you traitors out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend, and I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Uh. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? Going, dear. Um, Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. I think he's just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like this tech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop, and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. If I don't get the real formula by the count of five, you'll be greeting one of the two friends I carry on my back. One. Two. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. Three. All right, wait. I'll give it to you. Here. Happy? They say one of your scents is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. I know there's something unusual about it. All right. I admit it. I've traded in incense for years. It, it was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. Lorito and I will see you tomorrow. All right, then. I'll close the shop, but don't tell anyone. I, I beg you. I see you've done it. Thank you on behalf of all Flotsam. Here's your award. How did it go? Did you get the formula? Have it. Show me. Here it is. Grand! I must check its authenticity in the lab before I can give you your coin. I'm a cautious man. Forgive me. I'm cautious too. Give me back the formula. All right. We'll go together. I'll wait for you by the gate at the market side. Now. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm, you did turn pale when we met Sheila. You must have imagined that. I know you too well. Sheila's one of the most powerful sorceresses. That's no reason to fear her. She can't be trusted, in my experience. I know her to be devious and manipulative. Any proof? She's well aware you lost your memory, yet pretended she didn't know. 
Now why would she do that? I don't know. Her true intentions have always been hard to fathom. I'll see if I can't learn what they are. How? I'll go hunting with her, right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Moril would delight in a day like this, Sir Heron. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the longing. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Va fail. Va fail. Welcome. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. Now, now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? <laughs> Hello. Hey,
I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Karen attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. Mm. Medallion's telling me something. Examine the traces of the Karen and get out of here. I'm glad you're here. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Garrett. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Karen's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you.
I suppose I could forward this, but where the hell in Flotsam will I find a drop box for the Royal Post? Should have known the weather would change. You wanna go? You bet I do. All right, come with me. Let's do it now. I'll be tied up later. All right. This weather is really dispirited. Should have known the weather would change. Ready? Let's do it. Should have known the weather would change. Strong as an ox. Here are your orange. Once we had a company of Adam Pangrat's mercenaries here. I'm the strongest here, so I took on at you. But that lad's got superhuman strength. He beat me like a child. If you ever see him, tell him Bard Bargy drinks to his health. All right. This weather is really dispiriting. I don't know the weather. We should gather some rainwater. What's up? You'll betray no one else, you bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. Commander Dorito will explain everything. You've no right. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison, kicketting us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with her. I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it, but you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. Ready? As I said, I'm cautious. My lab is well hidden and I want to keep it that way. So I'll have to blindfold you. All right, but no tricks. One false move and you'll never open your secret door again. I'm not mad enough to mess with you. Grab hold of my arm. My workshop is very near. Almost there. Now, Porky! Sincere apologies again. I know you could slice me up like a juicy side of beef if you wanted to. I had to protect myself. I'll ask you to be patient while my men check the formula. You've no idea how hard it is to find qualified specialists these days. In Blinheim's day, I worked with only the best alchemists. Blinheim? I'm under the impression I know the name. Somebody from Flotsam? No, Vizima. Long ago. I need a moment. The results are ready. Grand legal fist tech. Oh, this will be a big fat vein of gold. The truth will out. Besides, I have a low tolerance for lying. Forgive me. I was not sure if I could trust you. Here's your reward. You fully deserve it. My men will see you off. Please let them cover your eyes again. I hope to do more business with you sometime.
I'd probably agree if I didn't remember that Blinheim was one of Salamandra's commanders. In that case, you'll need to stay here. We'll wait out here. Make it quick.
damn it. Goyatel arrows. This is pretty clear. Find anything in there? Two soldiers. What happened to them? They're dead, riddled with arrows. I know nothing about that. What do you think, Witcher? Seems like two soldiers wandered into the cave, maybe to drive away monsters. But just because somebody convinced them to go. I don't know how many monsters they managed to kill, but I do know who got them. Scoyatel. Bollocks! Last I recall, Neckers don't know how to use bows. Hey lads! Let's find a tree! No! I'll tell you everything! Just don't kill me, please! Speak. You need to see this. You won't understand otherwise. See plowing what? That bitch is lying! We'll see. You lead. Oh, 
quiddles. Thanks for the help, Witcher. Here's your orange. You're coming with us, bitch! You shouldn't have left Dimitri, stupid whore. Death awaits you all! Curse you, Dwan! Cedric, I need some Ostmerk. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmerk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Take that.
What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away, and this prick throws fireside feasts. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista! You know the power of this weapon! Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast that for to these drunkards protect people from himself. the square tower. <laughs> Add flour into Hasn't the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Don't you traipse around here. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with... What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm All right. Let's begin. <laughs> Add plowing to the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. I haven't had this good a time in ages. Did you hear? That's true. Two big shots arrived. You know this one. one Did you hear? Two the big park. shots arrived. Bramble, bramble. One they want. I don't like straight. Oh, you are a fat, dirty rotten scum. What you want, old man? I was looking for a rematch. Let's do this. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? <laughs> Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with- Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. <laughs> That's flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. What do you need, Ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? I don't really care. Just get him away from the ballista. Oh, now you've got me doubting he's your mate at all. But I'll not pry. It'll cost you double. That's steep. I may be a simple girl, 
but I know at least a few men who'd give you trouble if I told them what you've asked of me. Pay me, and it'll stay between us. I mean, no point in giving brutes and louts a good reason to perfect their skills, eh? I'll not show you so much as a tip for that. A favour for a favour? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. Did you, you know this one? A little apple skipping down the path. Pram all, pram all. Along came I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. You've had your song. Care for some real <laughs> diversion? <sighs> Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. A little bit of dipping down the path. Pramble, pramble. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Fuck you, ma'am! Plow them all! You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Care for a little diversion, grave one? I'm on duty. Oh, come on. I haven't had this good Your a time in ages. are well at it, having That's their true. fun. Why should you, know you this be one? any worse? A little apple You're skipping right. down the path. Let's go. Plam all, plam all. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plam all, plam all. Oh, you are fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. That Do one that struts again. about as if he were the king himself. Plow them all. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Plow. This is decommissioned. This Perfect. Good a time in a Let's go see Laredo. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. 
They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of... Soldier! Liquor. Report to me immediately! What do you want? Shut it, soldier! Have respect for you! In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We called the Witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business, too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law around here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. My enemy's enemy is my friend. We barely escaped with our lives the last time we ran into Yorvith. Damn squirrels draw ever nearer. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. They haven't proved their loyalty already, placing walls between Yorveth and themselves. They understand that bandit, Witcher. They share his language, his methods, his beliefs. We let them live among us, but we watch them. One night, they just might cut our throats and open the gates. Talk like that makes me sick. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvitz no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I've an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Laredo's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. We don't need to 
Turned me away at the door, the bastard. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. The boys pull punching tricks, that. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. Spit it out. Know what Flotsam's famous for? Nothing. You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful hordes in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fight in scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I promote fighters, place them in tournaments, singled you out. Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you, but who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farmhand you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see, the Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right, but if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Hmm. Finish the fucker! Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion. I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all, looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win, and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Yeah! Stand your ground! Beautiful job, rearranging his face. Who's next? One Punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Finish the fucker off! Stand your ground! Suck it to him! Finish the fucker off! You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed, but we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tasseldeer. Not too popular then. 
He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Bring on this tassel dick. Stand your ground! Sock it to him! Stand your ground! Sock it to him! One more and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble it takes at least four lads to take him down. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lerido? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours, and that's not an offer. I see. You're a regular Khan. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Sock it to him! <coughs> Finish the fucker off! Suck it to him! Finish the fucker off! Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. Tell him. I'm taking oh, your pouch. Oh, Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said there's a third option that his hand inched towards his knife. <laughs> Commandant Laredo sends his regards. Punk. I was thinking about what, new boy? Maybe we ought to try some honest work back in the time. Listen carefully and take it to heart. Yeah, what? Never, ever say that again. Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honours. The honours? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him. Her. Whatever it is. Triss claims that Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. Did you find out where the Karen came from? I didn't even try. So I take it you know it was created by a mage? I guessed as much. And what of it? Do you wish me to feel guilty, apologize for some madman? I don't intend to. How did you know it was a mage? 
I didn't. Just guessed. If we're going to work together, we should get to know each other. Is that so? Very well. Ask what you will. Do you always take on Witcher's work? Occasionally. If it pays exceptionally well. You don't like the competition. It's no bother, as long as demand outweighs supply. Right. What's that? It looks impressive. A megascope. What does it do? Many complicated magical operations. It allows me to communicate with other sorceresses, for instance. I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the K-Ran together, but that is all. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Before we set out, you must make sure we'll get paid. Talk to the merchants by the warehouses. <laughs> 